Welcome to Scratch Jr. Beat the Clock. This is a challenging program game that gets harder with each new challenge. In this game, you have to select the correct backgrounds, sprites, and scripts for the program you're about to see. You will have three minutes to complete your challenge. If you get done early, open a new page and get creative there. Please click on the home button and open a new project. You may begin now. This is about the halfway mark. I'm sure you're doing a great job. You still have about a minute and a half to go. Uh, so check over your project a little bit. Do you have the right background? Did you have to make any changes to it or change colors or draw your own background? How about your sprites or characters? Did you have to edit those, change colors, make a new character? Did you have to add sounds or new pages? And finally, your scripts. Are your programming blocks making your characters or sprites do what you see on the screen? Check those out. Make some changes if they're not. Best of luck. Doing a great job. Okay, time is up for challenge 14, Scratch Cat Bottle Flips. So let's see how our program is created today. We're actually going to leave Scratch Cat on the screen, which most of the time we do not, but he's going to be our bottle flipper. And then we're going to choose a blank background and fill that in to be just solid black. You could have whatever color or background you'd like, but trying to match our video today, you're going to choose the black background, put Scratch on the screen wherever you, need, you think he needs to go, and then go to the very bottom to select our table. It's one of the last sprites on the screen. So go ahead, select the table and drag it down to the bottom of the, the page there and try to position it in the correct spot. Now we're going to draw the water bottle. So the water bottle, draw the best you can. I'm going to use the white color outline for the water bottle and just uh, draw this and fill it in with a blue color. So you use that white outline for it. Go ahead and draw down and over and back up and connect it. Remember, Scratch Junior sometimes messes with your lines a little bit. So if you have to, go undo and then redo and fill it in blue there. I'm going to draw a white 
cap to the bottle. So we're gonna draw a white rectangle there and fill that in and then hit the check mark. My water bottle is pretty big here. So I'm gonna increase the size actually of scratch. I'll think about making that water bottle smaller as well. So we're gonna move him over there. I'm gonna give scratch a code. His code is gonna be just a, you know, bring down that trigger block. We're gonna move uh, to the turn right. We're gonna turn left just to give him kind of a shake when the bottle is thrown. And then I'm gonna put that in script. So just test that out. That's a little shake that he has there. And then go over to the water bottle. So with the water bottle, the, the big thing with this program is using actually three trigger blocks. And we're gonna use three green flags or trigger flags for our program. So we went over seven, and then we're gonna go up, and then we're gonna come back down. So up four, back down four. And I'm just testing this out to show you what it looks like without the spinning of the bottle. So that's about how it looks like without that. But now we're gonna add the actual spin to the bottle. So another green trigger flag, we're gonna turn the bottle and it needs to go 12, just like our hours. Um, and we have kind of like the 12 hours and the hands around our circle on the clock. This is how that's going to work with our spin. So 12 hours around on a clock, 12 rotations or spins, and it rotates it all the way around. Now, I think I'm going to change that rotation, though, to spin the other way. I kind of like it spinning the other way. So let's shrink that bottle down. And then, yes, it's spinning to the right, but I want it to spin up the other way here. I'm going to make that change here shortly. So I'll go ahead and switch that out, and I'm going to make that bottle spin back towards me. Now, that would be just if it was one. Um, need to put the 12 in. Forgot that 12. And there we have that bottle flipping and landing like it should. So we can go full screen here and see how that bottle goes. Now, one of the things you could do, uh, you get this all done, something to be creative with, maybe make it flip higher, maybe make it flip farther. Um, see what you can do with that. Shrink the cat down and the bottle very tiny. See if you can flip those around. Um, so that is our program for today. I hope you did an excellent job with this and had a wonderful time. I'd really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and share below. Have a wonderful day. Until next time.